or welcome to our Thought for the Day for Monday the 20th of July. Uh, my name is Graham Hoslett. Today we're thinking about Psalm 106 and I want us just to think about one verse, the first verse. Praise the Lord, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, his love endures forever. And in fact, I want us to think today about just one line in that verse, uh, the last line. Praise the Lord, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, his love endures forever. Let's spend our time taking that phrase one word at a time. First, his love endures forever. His love. Uh, 1 Corinthians 13 is the famous passage about love. In 1 Corinthians 13 verses 1 to 8, Paul writes, if I speak in the tongues of men or of angels but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have a faith that can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship, that I may boast but do not have love, I gain nothing. And Paul says, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonour others, it is not self-seeking, it's not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. The importance, the preeminence of, of love. If ever we're in doubt about what we should do at any time, then we never go far wrong if we love. But the love that Paul has in mind is not just love, love, but God's love. Jesus said in John 16, verse 27, the father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. In Romans 5, verse 5, we read, hope does not disappoint us because God has poured out his love into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, whom he has given to us. Psalm 106 verse 1 says, his love endures forever. Perhaps this is uh, one of the ways in which um, I so often go so wrong. I sort of love with my love and not with the love that the Lord gives me, that the love, uh, the love that the Lord lives in me. His love endures uh, forever. But also Psalm 106 verse 1 says his love endures forever. Not just his love but his love endures. I'm comforted by that thought that of, of the qualities of the attributes that God has in Psalm 106 verse 1 it's his love that the psalmist says long endures. Not his anger or his wrath or his hatred of our sin, his hatred of my sin, though these things are real. But his love, his love endures forever. Psalm 103 verses 8 to 14, I think, was it Helen thinking about these Verses for us last Wednesday, the Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor will he harbour his anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. Let this thought comfort you today. That the Lord has determined that his love will endure, will long endure after his anger has run its course. His anger has already run its course in Jesus on the cross. His love endures forever. Give yourself to his love 
and let this knowledge live in you, that his love for you will long outlast his, under, his memory of what you've done. And Psalm 106 verse 1 doesn't just say that his love endures forever, it says his love endures forever. Um, there's a difference between something that outlasts something and something that endures something. Um, Psalm 106 verse 1 doesn't just say his love lasts, it says his love endures. His love endures all my failure, all my weakness, all my sin. His love endures them all, bears them all, carries them all. Um, in John chapter 10, Jesus, speaking of himself as the good shepherd, uh, John 10 verses 27 to 29, he said, my sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. What wonderful words. But then Jesus said, no one will snatch them out of my hand. My father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my father's hand. Doubly held. We're doubly held. Held in the held in the loving arms of Jesus, held in the strong and powerful hand of the Father's love. His love not only lasts, it endures. His love endures, and his love endures forever. No one can ever snatch them out of my Father's hand. That's really all I wanted us to think about today. All I wanted us to remember and to take with us um, into this day and through this day. Praise the Lord, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. So will you say that with me? Uh, those five words, his love endures forever. When I say praise the Lord, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Will you say his love endures forever? And saying those words, let them sink deep into you. And so we say, praise the Lord, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love endures forever. May you know that his love for you will never run out, will never run dry. Praise the Lord, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love endures forever. Amen.